In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do port forwarding so you can have remote access to your DVRs and IP cameras. Wanna learn more? Just keep watching. Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudio Miri again, and today you're gonna learn how to do port forwarding so you can have access to your DVR or your IP camera directly from the internet. But before I continue, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, also hit the bell notification to receive information about new videos, and also leave your thumbs up and your comments, okay? So here I have some equipment I wanna show you guys. Here's the router and there is a port to connect to the internet and also for uh, ports for your local network. The idea is that you have a cable like this, a network cable or a UTP cable, and then you can connect to the port and to your internal device. Let's say an IP camera like this, you connect and then you power, power your camera on. And you use this extra port to connect to other cameras or to your laptop, computer, whatever, okay? The idea is that the traffic comes from the internet, from your modem to this router, and then you need to have a rule here in place that can port forwarding everything that comes here to your internal local network. Okay, so let's learn how to do that today. A little bit of theory here so you can understand better and then you can go on practice and make it work, okay? So let's come here to my computer so I here have the internet, um, a mobile, a tablet, a laptop, a router that's on your network. The router is connected to your laptop. You can use cable or Wi-Fi like this one. The Wi-Fi is giving access to a mobile and to a tablet to the router. And of course, the router is connected to the internet. And then you have an external IP and an internal IP and that is pretty important. Okay, every router has at least two IPs. It can have more, but at least two, okay? One is the external IP and the other one is the internal IP that belongs to your local network. Back here, you can see that your IP is, in, external IP is different from the internal IP. The internal IP is something like 192.168.2. something. The device are gonna have the same IP. Uh, at least the end is gonna change, but the IP is about the same. You see here the mobile, for example, it ends with 120, the tablet 180, and the laptop 160. So that'll be 192.168.2.160, okay? So when you have an IP camera, it's the same principle. You have an IP camera connected to the router, and here's the IP of this camera and everybody is located here in the internal network and you have the same infrastructure here in this side, a laptop, connect to a router using a cable or Wi-Fi and then the router connected to the internet. And here you have an external IP and an internal IP that's similar to the ones that you have for, for your devices. So here you have a guy and a girl, they're in opposite sides of the internet. And here is the local network for her. And is the remote network also for her. Look, he, she's in the, on a network with her computer and she wanted to have access to the camera that is in the other side of the internet, in the in an office or something. So for her is the remote location, okay? She's in a local network and she wanna have access to a remote location. And back here, we can see that the guy is already in this remote location, the remote network. And this guy needs to configure this router so the router can port forwarding everything that comes here to the camera and then the camera can send the traffic back to this girl, okay? So the girl here in her computer is gonna type the IP address of this router and then the traffic is come here and to the internet and arrive to the router here. And then the router is gonna ask an important question. What is the port? What is the port I suppose to go to, right? To give this, uh, to pass this traffic to. And that's your camera. Back here, you can see that you have a camera here inside and this camera is using the port 8080. 
it's important that you put this information here in the router. So you, you're going to say to the router, hey, router, the port 8080, uh, port forwards to 192.168.2.17, and that's the camera. So every time the traffic comes here, arrive to the router, the router is going to forward the traffic to the camera, and then when the traffic comes here, the camera sends the video back to the GIL's computer just right here. So it's pretty easy. That's the theory about the thing, right? Now you need to configure your camera and your router to do that, okay? So let's take a look here again. Oh, there is also something important here. The port 80 is, a lot, is already used by the router, so you can't use this port here for the camera. Otherwise, you're going to have a conflict here, you're going to have a problem. So you need to go to your camera and change from 80 to 8080. The camera usually comes with port 80, every camera does, every DVR does. So you need to go there and change this port to 8080. It's just an example, could be another number here, right? But 8080 is just an example. So back here, uh, you can have also access to a mobile that's connected to a carrier and to the internet, right? And then when the guy here with the mobile try to reach the camera, it's the same principle. The traffic comes here through the carrier and to the internet and arrives to the router, port 8080, forward to this camera. That's the same principle. So the idea is that the traffic is come here, go to the router, goes to the camera uh, after the port forwarding, and then comes back to the gear here because the router can port forwarding everything, right? So let's understand how we do that. J this is just a recap. So here you're gonna need your IP, I mean, I mean the IP from the camera, the port that the camera is using, and the IP that the router is using for this gear here when she tries to reach the router, okay? She needs to, to know which is the IP. So let's go to a camera that I have here. It's an IP camera, it's already connected to my network, to my router. So here's the camera. I'm using a web browser to open the camera. So here's the IP, 192.168.2.17, according to our diagram. And I come here to configuration. Everything here is in Portuguese, but because this camera can change to English, but it's simple to understand, right? Here's network. That means network. You go to network. Every camera has a menu to the network. Then I have here the IP address. Okay, 1.2.168.2.17. And here are the ports. And then I'm going to change the port here to 8080. And that's all I have to do here. And then I save. The, cam uh, the camera is going to warn me that I need to log in again. So when I try to refresh, I can't have access to the camera anymore because I just changed the port. Then I'm going to have an error here. So I need to come here and change the IP address and I can put here colon 88, right? So I can have access to the new port. I think the camera is still rebooting. I need to wait for something. I need to wait a little bit more. And here we go, after rebooting, I'm just going to log in again, just to make sure I have access to the camera. And that's it. Now I have access to the camera. It's trying to load the image here, take some time and it's, it's done. And now I have my camera working with 8080 port. Okay, that's it for the camera. And then I need to go to the router and do the configuration there. Put the, the root there that I need to use the port 8080 for port forwarding. So let's do that. So here's my router, I just log in. Oh, my router is also in Portuguese, so let me just change to English. I can do that in this router. So that'll be better, so you can see with more details. Here we go. Then I come here to application and games. Every router is different. For my router, it works like that, right? I come here to application and games, and your router probably will be different. You need to look for NAT, that's a network address translation, or PET, that's port address translation, 
or something like port forwarding, something similar to that. You need to find a menu like this one, where you can put the external port, internal port, the protocol, IP address to write direct the traffic to and enable the rule, right? Just right here, I'm gonna put the rule for this camera. That's the camera name. Then I'm gonna put here 8080 and here 8080. Okay, and then 107 and enable the rule, right? And that's it. Basically here, I'm telling the router, hey, every time a traffic comes to the 8080 port, please just port forwarding, just forward the traffic to this IP address, that's the IP address of the camera. So I just save the settings, and that's it. That's all I have to do, okay? So now I need to test this out, I need to go to the other office, and from there, try to have uh, access to this camera. So we're gonna do this now, so keep following the video. I'm just going to, uh, to leave this office here, go to the other one, and then from there, you're gonna have access to this camera, okay? So see you there. So now I'm here at the remote office, I'm gonna use the IP and the port from the router there, and then the router can port forward to the camera. So let's do this here at the computer. I will open uh, Internet Explorer, and here I need to use the address I have just right here. This is for the router there, and this is for the camera. Router and the port for the camera, port for wording, right? Let me just copy this and paste here in the web browser. Hit enter, and here we go. I have access to the camera. I already did the port for wording there. My password. And then I got an error here, right? So I got this error, I already figured it out what it is because I went back into the camera menu and I saw an extra port there that is supposed to forward, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Right now I'm here, I don't wanna come back to the office so I can do it remotely. I just can open a new tab here and get the IP of the router. It's the same IP, but the difference is that the router is using port 80. So when you use a web browser, you don't need to inform the port 80 here because it's the default, right? So I just paste here, the IP of the router there, and then I can remote log into my router. I put the password here, and now remotely I can change the rule there, okay? So that's the idea. If you can have access uh, to your router remotely, you can do that wherever you are. Don't need to come back to the office there. So back here, I'm coming to application and games again. So that's the way it works for me. For you, it will be different. Let me put another rule here. Just give it a name. And then what I could see there is that I need to use this port three, four, five, six, seven, the next report. Three, four, five, six, seven. And for the camera and enable the rule. And that's it. Save, continue. And let's back here and try it again. And it's loading. It's working now, so here we go. Let's just come here in, into the configuration of the camera so I can show you guys where I could see here in the network, I could see the extra port. So I was using 80, 80, and then I have here external web. So an extra port here with the port three, four, five, six, seven. That's the new rule I put there and worked, right? I can also use this Onviv port or TCP port, if I'm using software instead of web browser, I'm gonna use software to connect to the camera. I need to go to the router and forward these ports too, right? So that's the idea, it's pretty simple. It's not rocket science, it's not that hard. You just need to pick the ports and put it there in the router, right? So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and also, hit the bell notification to receive more uh, notification about more videos like that, okay? 
Thank you very much and I see you in the next one.